Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on SAP UI5 in Fiori training. In the last episode in SAP UI5, we discussed the basics of JavaScript. We started with the introduction of JavaScript. We saw how JavaScript can be understood directly by the browser. We also saw what are the dif different types of data types. When it comes to JavaScript, we saw how to create variables, multiple variety of variables. Also perform different functions, string functions. We saw JavaScript is case sensitive. Every statement ends with semicolon. And how we can write JavaScript code directly into console and test it. In today's session, we'll go ahead and have a deep dive inside JavaScript and write some JavaScript code. Now, what else? How exactly execution is happening, guys, here in this case? The execution in JavaScript is always called non-blocking I.O. What is non-blocking I.O, guys? Let's try to understand with a sequence diagram. Suppose there is a user and there is a program which user is calling. Okay. So now let's say this is a user. Where is my user? Just get a happy user, please. Okay, this one. It's a user. And this user is making a call to a program. So this is my user. Now this is a time axis. What I'm drawing here. I'm going to draw the sequence or the flow of execution. So suppose user makes a call, makes an action, which triggers my some JavaScript code. And this JavaScript code is calling some other JavaScript code. So many times, guys, what happens? The JavaScript execution is so-called non-blocking I.O. What is I.O.? Input-output. It's non-blocking input-output. What does it mean? Typical programming. Let's see first the typical programming flow. In ABAP, for example, you make a call to a function module. Okay. Now, this function module is making a call to another function module here. What will happen, guys? What will happen in this case if one function module calling another function module in a BAP language? Will you get the response? Will you get the response until function 2 gets over? Anybody, until function 2 gets over, will you get the response back? Will this user get the response back until function 2 gets over? No, no, this is called synchronous execution. Synchronous execution in which all the block of code must get executed first. Okay, all the block of code must get executed first. Then only you're going to get response. So it's like this. This is synchronous execution in which you got the data only when both the blocks successfully complete so block one it called second block second block got over re responded back to block one block one got over responded back to this is called what what type of execution it is called it is synchronous execution now guys while synchronous execution is happening what will happen can user do something else can you do something else on sapgui screen when this is happening can you guys create another sales order? Can you start working with screen? No. Your screen gets logged. Your input output, uh, input output is logged. Did you guys observe when you press enter button on the SAFGUI? It can't, it doesn't allow you immediately to do something until the response comes back. Until a message comes back, success message, fail message, whatever is happening in the back end. Until that gets over, you don't get response back. Did you guys observe? Yes or no? Did you guys observe the synchronous behavior of SAPGUI? Yes, that's what happens. JavaScript, however, works differently. In JavaScript, sometimes, not always, guys, not always, sometimes there are some functions. This is actually like blocking I.O. This is typical programming, which is blocking I.O. Example. SAP ABAP. Now, in the another flow, what happens when you make a call to a block of code? And if this block of code is making a call to another block of code, yeah, if this is making a call to another block of code, and if you think that this block of code is going to take a lot of time, yeah, so much of time, what you can do, JavaScript can make a call to the inner block asynchronously okay it's an asynchronous 
which means my current block of code which I which was initiated by user is got over however the second block wouldn't might have not been started at all okay or wouldn't have bought finished at all so your first block of code got finished here itself and user is now not blocked user can still continue its work okay so user can continue continues the work so user made a call first let's say user say hey can you load the data from o data service can you please call my abap server so let's say call my server something something user does this this calls a method and then this method starts an asynchronous processing yeah starts an asynchronous processing and that's where the second method is called but the second method did you see the second method finished here no no it didn't even finish it is still continuing since it's a big work big big work javascript doesn't block you you can still continue your work and javascript then returns back a promise or returns back a callback function this callback function is then can be used to process the output which comes later yeah. callback function so this callback function is triggered asynchronously again when the response comes back so response is not immediately coming response comes back a little later so now you got the data so here this is your callback function and then you can process your data here and then you can return the result accordingly the back back to the user again again you can refresh the screen for the user so you see the first function which is the initiator initiator did not really wait for this function to get over yeah and it responded immediately back user is now not blocked user is continue working after some time user will suddenly see some output comes on screen because we have this function which was started long back got over it took some time asynchronously it is executing and then it makes a call to callback function and this callback function then uh, you can use to process something and return the data back to the user is that clear guys the javascript execution how it is it's non blocking input output is that clear everybody what is non blocking io for javascript are you all clear what is non blocking io for javascript please answer in chat window if you're all clear what is non blocking this is why we have a concept of callback function okay we have a concept of callback function for javascript and asynchronous execution now let me show you how can this be achieved it's very easy to test this piece of code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and i will quickly create a button over here so let me create a button and i say on click equals to i can say show me async show me some asynchronous stuff which you have got yeah so now i will write in something here and i'll say yeah, async test yeah and now i'm going to go on the top and i'm going to write the function main function test and now guys in this function i'll just put a console.log and i'll say main function called this is my main function called and i'll say set timeout what does set timeout does this is a standard javascript function which gets called after a time interval automatically okay so now i'll say i want to call a function it's an anonymous function this time without a name and i want to call this after five seconds so please call in a function this function this gentleman after five seconds so do you think my main function which i called async test is going to wait until the inner function gets over do you think my main function which i called from my button click is going to wait until the inner function gets over until this inner function gets over do do i need to wait no guys it's non blocking io so which means this function set timeout gets called asynchronously asynchronously it gets called and now in this i can say again console dot lock my inner function got called okay 
and then I will also say console.log and my I am leaving the as main function now guys what you what do you think what will happen in what order these console.log will be printed what do you think so obviously the moment first time you click on button this will get called now tell me guys which console will print first anybody which console will print first anyone which console will print first I am leaving perfect answer Gita you understood the concept it's gonna print this one first so typical programmers mind says it is gonna go in the simple order top to bottom it's gonna run this it's gonna wait for five seconds run this and then it's gonna come out and run this no guys that's not how JavaScript works JavaScript is non blocking IO it doesn't wait here anymore it just starts in another thread yeah it is starts in another thread execution in parallel and this thread is waiting till this five second gets over by the time this gets executed and it comes out of the function user is not blocked user is not blocked and here after five seconds it's going to start the function execution which is callback function this this is a callback function function is a callback function here this gets started it prints this and it finishes the object as a result on the console you're going to see some output after five seconds so this is the third one which gets called in the order so first second and after five second third one gets called let's test this non-blocking io non-blocking io that's how javascript works little different style of coding guys typical conventional programming languages it is a little different style of coding but that's very very important concept let's come back refresh the page i'm going to test that up so just remove my breakpoints which i have it and now watch out guys async test watch out so i come back to console on the left you see I click on async test oops uncaught reference error show me async is not a function so something is wrong so let's see show me async that's my function name and I've put in put in a wrong function name I put async test that's incorrect let's correct the function name you see console is your best friend I refresh again and watch out async test again and you see main function called I am leaving the main function you see immediately they both got called and after five seconds my inner function got called you see it doesn't block let me increase the time to here like 15 seconds 15 seconds means 15,000 milliseconds this time is in milliseconds actually so let's refresh and now watch out I click again async test you see it left the function already I'm leaving the function and I can now enter my data and it's working yeah everything works you see it's hitting my debugger everything works naturally so everything works it's not blocking my io and after 15 seconds gets over system is going to call that callback function which i've written and then you see my inner function got called see guys it's not blocking my input output i can still interact with you with the with the screen so javascript is a non-blocking input io programming language this is a very amazing concept this is what makes javascript most powerful most powerful and same applies even to server side javascript like node.js you can do thousands of parallel tasks in javascript thousands and thousands of parallel operations using this this model and you don't have to take care of synchronization multi-threading and all that it's all been naturally taken care by javascript JavaScript takes care of all these sync points, uh, multi-threading things, you know, starting the new thread, running it separately, not blocking the input output. It's all done behind the scene in the JavaScript. Don't worry about it. Just understand how asynchronous execution works. It doesn't block the user input output. It works naturally. So what is this function called? It's a function without name, hence it's called anonymous function. But in, in, in terms, in usually in terms, we call this as callback function because this gets called after timeout is over. Are you all clear, guys? What is a callback function? A callback function is a function which is asynchronously called after some time or when a condition is fulfilled. Is that clear callback function concept? Or all of you? Are you all clear? Please type in the chat window. The concept of non-blocking IO, how the JavaScript works, and what is a what is a callback function, and what type of function is is this a named function, guys? Is this a function with a name? No, it's an unnamed function. It's a it's a function called anonymous function. We learned that in the past class. So, guys, uh, 
those who want to attend my SAP UIFF and Fury training in detail, please subscribe to my training on onlinefurytrainings.com. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for such amazing videos. You can see here we understood the concept of asynchronous execution, callback function, callback function execution, and then uh, we understood non-blocking input output how javascript is different from the current programming languages so in the last couple of uh, days we learned about html css javascript jquery uh, yeah all these things we learned we also discussed uh, about different varieties of objects json arrays we talked about even driven programming language how the javascript is it's a browser's programming language and now we saw how can we use JavaScript for a non-blocking IO programming, which is which gives the really the power to JavaScript. That's the really power to JavaScript. Okay, let's move on and see now what X JavaScript can do for us. So let's go back to our PPT where we discussed about what JavaScript is capable of doing. So, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you feel this video is helpful for you and your colleagues, please do share this video with all your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for all your efforts putting in understanding this concept with me please do like subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this you will be getting notified automatically once you subscribe to this channel if you want to get more deep into the course please don't hesitate to subscribe to my course on sap ui5 and fury development sap abap on hana with this for technical modules and also probably on SAP Fury Launchpad and Advanced Fury training on Web ID full stack. This is Anubha Oberoi signing out. Thank you so much. See you again. Goodbye.